Hi, Lula friends. It's the second Emotions and Feelings video. Last video, we talked about increasing our vocabulary of feelings words so that we can identify and understand what we're feeling. That way we can help ourselves um, learn what to do when we have those big feelings. Some of us want to be alone. Some of us need a big hug. Lena likes a big hug every now and then. And then sometimes we can do things ourselves to help calm us down. Lena loves this one, I love it too, this one technique that I used often with my children, and it's drawing on backs. So you need a sibling or a parent to work together, two people. One person is the drawer, that'd be me. One person is the paper, that'd be Lena. So I sharpen my pencil, get my eraser, and you can tell a story or you can Draw shapes and ask them to guess what that is. Draw letters and ask them to guess what that is. I'm going to draw a story I do a lot when I'm doing the back activity. I dig a little hole. I plant a little seed. Tap, tap, tap. And the rain comes. And the lightning comes. And the thunder comes. And it grows a little bit. And you just keep repeating that until it grows all the way to the top. And I'm going to draw a letter on Lena's back now. What letter was that, Lena? I'll give you a hint. It's my letter. It's the S. So Lena loves that one. Another great activity to calm your children down or to have something exciting for them to look forward to if they have a chore or something they don't want to do is obligook. I sent a link with the recipe. This is the only ingredient that's absolutely necessary, plus a little bit of water. The, the recipe I sent is lavender scented because that's more relaxing. If you've never done obligook, you must. I made a little bit just to speed it up. It's liquid when air hits it. If your hands dig in there and you can get a ball and it's solid, then you open it and it just goes dripping down. It cleans up really easily because it's just cornstarch. So that's another great idea. The breathing, breathe deep three times when you're angry to calm yourself so that you don't get yourself into more trouble or you don't end up hurting someone or yourself. Breathing deep really works. Talking about your feelings with your siblings and your parents is another great idea. Now, um... What's next? I have an idea to share with families, and it's on the link also. It's a toot toot jar. A toot toot jar is when we, in a family, have a family meeting and make a decision that we're going to start recognizing good, kind things that are happening in our household. And everybody agrees on the kinds of things, uh, if you help someone, if you take the trash out without being asked, if you put your dishes in the sink, all of these are helping things. If you share your ice cream with a sibling, if you go get a Band-Aid for a friend, these are all things to toot, 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 get it? Toot your horn, toot, toot. So what you do is you decide on a jar, you decide on a celebration once the jar gets full that the whole family would get to celebrate in. We're gonna have ice cream at my pet family celebration. So we decide the celebration that we're gonna have. We decide what we're going to um, use as a toot toot horn, might be a bell. This, I have a paper towel tube, toot toot. So if I see my sister doing a kind deed for my mommy, I'm going to go to the toot toot jar and pick up the toot toot horn and go toot toot. And I get to tell everybody what I saw her do and put it in the jar. And so it keeps going until the jar is full and then we have our ice cream party. Friends, I hope you have a great holiday. We'll see you all back here next Monday on our Zoom. We love you. Bye.